Hey there. Hey everyone, I'm so glad you were able to join me today. I'm just quickly getting ready here. Awesome. So I see some people coming in and joining. I'm super excited to be crafting along with you guys today. And I also bought some new equipment. So hopefully the video in the live stream looks a lot better. So be sure to let me know in the comment section how it's all going as we go along. So today I'm going to be crafting using the new Tonic May Craft Kit. Now, before I get started or during the project, if you like what you see, I encourage you to use the link that I provided in the chat um, to go purchase the kit right away because they're running out fast. These things are super popular. And I think I read that there's only about 3% left. So I wanted to share this live stream sooner than later so you guys can purchase it if you'd like it. So if you see anything you like, um, be sure to use that link you saw. And I don't mind if you run out of the live stream and go purchase one and then come back in if you want. So we'll be creating these two projects today. One of them is a little gift bag. So you can put little, like a little stamp in here or something and give it off to your friend, which I really like. And I'll share how to create this fun inked thing and how to put this all together. And also, because I'm the card maker, I wanted to share how to make this into a card too. So I took this die that you put on top of here and I made it into a card as well by cutting it up. And we're gonna use some of those shimmer powder bursts too from Tonic. So I'll be sharing those as well. Thanks guys. Thanks so much for joining in from Texas. Hey everybody, hey Donna, hey Joe. Awesome, I'm so glad you guys are able to catch me live and I'm glad you like these projects. So if you wanna see these, be sure to stick around here. So here is my box that I was sent. Here it is, and I'll show you guys what's inside of the kit first, and then we'll dive right into the project. So here we go. I'm so glad you guys were able to join me today, and it looks already like it's a lot better quality, so I'm glad I was able to get that piece of equipment and that it shipped pretty fast. So inside here, you get two mini blending sponges, and I love these things. I can't say enough good things about them. They're a dense um, kind of foamy, surface so they're a lot denser than just a regular sponge and they're really easy to wash and blend with using so if you buy these separately you get them in a pack of four but in here you get two little sponges here good to see you guys too awesome the oh they're sold out you just check oh my apologies well um i'll share this quickly and if anybody has or is getting the kit um they can see how to do this but then also you guys can um Maybe subscribe for future months or see if you can do this with other things you have in your stash as well. So I apologize about that. Um, my apologies, but you also get the vanilla delight sequence. So hopefully you guys will still just enjoy crafting along with me though. I know I shared a video in the past kind of using one of these and they were all sold out too. And then there's the ivory sands glitter here. So that's really fun to use on your projects. And then these are absolutely adorable. These are mini little Nouveau embellishment mousses. They're lots of fun. I think this is Calypso Coral. Yep, Coral Calypso. And then this one is Burnished Bronze. And also if you see products like this that you like, you can always buy these kind of things and the shimmer powders that I'll share in the store regularly at Tonic. Um, they just kind of come with the kit too, so you have some fun things to create with, but the dyes are exclusive, so you won't be able to get those. Yeah, much closer to the project. I'm so glad. From freezing Michigan, it, it's a little bit warmer here in Wisconsin, but it's still um, pretty cold. So here is the Nouveau Mousse, and this is absolutely my favorite thing because here is a bigger Nouveau embellishment mousse, and then here's the little size that comes in the kit. So I love how cute it is that they give you a little mini mousse that comes in the kit, and this stuff lasts a long time too. So it's not like they're just giving you it for one project. This stuff goes a long way. So if you get one of these little mini mousses in the kit, it'll go and last for a long time. So I think I already read the colors off, but you get this bronzy kind of color and also that Calypso coral. Where in Wisconsin am I from? I'm kind of around the um, Milwaukee area, somewhere around there kind of, um, but in a little smaller of a town. Awesome, that's awesome that you're from Waukesha. Yeah, the moose definitely lasts forever. 
Florida, but back to New York to tomorrow. Well, enjoy the warm weather in Florida for now. Um, so here's a little mini crystal drop. And I'm, oh yeah, caramel cream. So you get the little mini drops as well. And again, this is so adorable. Let me grab a bigger drop. So here's what one of the bigger ones look like. And then here's the little mini one. So again, these last a long time too. So when you get these little mini samples, you get them and if you like the color, you can buy it again, but you can just keep using these until they run out too. It's the same product inside there too. Hello, awesome. You just got your kit, wonderful. Yeah, this all comes in the kit. Tonic likes to include lots of products and make it really affordable and things like that. And they include lots in it. So if this month is sold out, which I was told it is, you can always purchase for months in the future or subscribe to their kit if you like what you see because you get a lot for what you pay for in the kit. Yeah, I'll show you guys the moose. I'll show you in just a little bit. I'm gonna finish going through here and then we'll start creating with our projects and then I'll share kind of the moose, the drops and, and some of the tonic shimmer powders that don't quite come in the kit, but they're lots of fun. So here's the die set. This is what creates the bag. So you have all these fun little intricate things. I'm not gonna use everything. I'm not great at decorating things like that but I'll use some of the little products in here to create a bag and to create that card that you saw earlier. There's a lot of dies, especially for the price. Like the price you pay for the kit, like is less than what you would pay for a die set like this. So I love that they include so much. Then you have the um, conic sticker. So this one says let's craft on it, which I love. And then you have the little stamp set. So it's got some fun sentiments in it. It says happy birthday with love, get well, congratulations, and greetings. And I think these are little tags or little things you can put on the bag to decorate it too. So here's the little pocket that that comes in. And this is the ninth tonic craft kit. So they've only been doing this for a little while, but it's lots of fun. Hi from California. My apologies if you guys hear my dogs barking. Um, they're little barkers. So I think these were the special gift that came in the kit. I'm not quite sure if these come with everything because I know they do include a special gift. So I got these two long stencils here. This one kind of reminds me of like a shell pattern and this one kind of reminds me of little plants or little leaves or things like that. And I love these little stencils. They're really thick material too. And then inside here in this bottom, they package it really nicely in this cardboard piece so that they make sure that it doesn't bend as it goes through the mail. And I appreciate that a lot. So here is a textured cardstock. I love these, these are the cotton papers. And these things are really awesome. So they don't flatten in your die cutting machine and they got a really awesome texture in real life. That bag is so cute with the dice, thanks. I'll share how to create it in just a second here. So this is the rose with the cotton paper too. Super textured. Maybe they do. Maybe they think it's treats for them in the box. I don't know. So here's some glitter cardstock. So let's get right on into the project. I know lots of people want to see crafting and not opening the box. So I'll move this off to the side so we can start with our crafting. And if anybody is just joining in, we're creating these two projects. So the little bag here where you can shove little gifts in, maybe like a little stamp you might want to give to your friend, and then taking that and even making a card with it. So be sure to share this video if you want your friends to be in you, if you think that they would enjoy it. I would love having you guys chat down here and I love crafting along with you. So let me know who's crafting right now. I would love to hear um, who's gonna craft along with me here. You love the shimmer paper color. Yeah, I love that shimmer paper, it looks awesome. So what should we start with guys? Do you think we should start with the bag or the card? I'll wait a couple of seconds here. I'm not quite sure what I wanted to start with here, but maybe I'll start off die cutting the bag and we'll see, maybe we wanna start with the bag here. We'll see what you guys say down below. The bag, okay, awesome. So here's the die cutting machine from Tonic. I find that this does really well with intricate dies. So I'm gonna use it to die cut all these little intricate pieces out. So here we go, let's start. I'm gonna use a piece of craft card stock. This doesn't come along with the kit, but I find craft is kind of a basic color and I love using it for little bags like this. 
So I'm going to use some purple tape. I hope that, this, that the live stream is a lot better quality. I think from what I can tell, it's looking a lot better. I'm using my camcorder now in order to record, and I think it's going to do a lot better. And it'll kind of just look like a regular video that I'm filming, hopefully. So then we'll sandwich this in between the die cutting plate and the top plate. I'm kind of working a little off screen, I mean off screen here. And then I'll put it through. Your purple tape should be here on Monday. That is so awesome. I love that stuff. I could never quite find a tape that didn't rip. So I love this purple tape. So I'm going to run it through quickly. And you need two of these big bag die cuts in order to create the bag. So here's one of them, and you can see it cuts through really nice. I'll peel off that purple tape. You still want to peel it slowly, I find, but it really doesn't rip your cardstock much at all. Stream works fine. Awesome. I'm so glad. What camcorder do I use? Um, let me see. It is a Canon Vixia series. I'm not quite sure like the model and make number or anything, but it's in the Vixia camcorder series. So I'll grab another piece of cardstock here. Yesterday I cut it, yesterday I was cutting this die lengthwise, which just kind of wastes the cardstock, but you can fit two like this on one piece of cardstock. So you can make one bag out of one piece of cardstock by cutting it like this. So I'll put the top plate on. Even in Europe, it's working great, awesome. I'm so glad, and I think that I'll do these every Saturday now. I'm not sure what time I want to do it, so if you guys have any feedback, whether you like to see it in the morning or at night, and what time zone you're in, I would love that, because then I'll watch I'll watch the stream back and make sure that I'm going to go on the time that people are most around. But this seems pretty nice to do it at this time. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. So I'll put my plates off to the side, and then... What kind of peel this out of here? So there we go. Now that we got our two die cuts, time is perfect. Awesome. So it's about 12 o'clock where I am in central time. So here are the two bag die cuts. And then you want to um, prepare the top thing, but I'll do that at the end. Um, I like doing that when the bag is all complete so I can kind of see how it's looking and that I don't ruin anything as I'm creating the bag. Noon works great, awesome. Great time for everybody. Everybody's saying an awesome time right now, which I love because it was kind of a mistake that I went on right now, but I'm glad that it is the time right now. So I like to fold all the creases with my bone folder. We're making a fun little bag right now and we'll make a card in just a little bit. So you can put like a little stamps in that bag or anything like that. You're up because you can't sleep awesome. Well, I'm glad you guys joined us in the crafting here. So on these folds, I just like to use a bone folder to make them nice and sturdy. It's 7 p.m. over in the Netherlands right now. I'm so glad you guys are all joining from different places. It's lots of fun to craft with all of you at once. So I didn't have the instructions. Evening here, but you'll try to catch whenever. Awesome. You got home from work, so perfect timing. Well, that is wonderful. I'm glad you're in here now. Glad you were able to catch the stream. You can probably hear my dogs barking in the background. Hopefully not too loud. So here is what the folded kind of bag looks like. And when I was creating it last night, I didn't have any instructions to create it. And also, I have to say, I haven't created many projects like this. So I decided to kind of do it my own way, and I don't know if it's the right way. Tonic will probably have a video um, sharing how to exactly create it. Um, but hopefully this is good, um, because I think I did it right, but I'm not quite sure. How did I get started? Awesome. Well, I'm glad you asked that question. Men don't need manuals. Yeah, I tend to not read the instructions. Um, and most of the time it turns out pretty good. Um, how did I get started in crafting? 
So I was really little and I was always a pretty crafty kid. I would always create stuff. Um, and then I found alcohol inks and it kind of got me into the world of card making. I created lots of different backgrounds and things like that and searched up some ways to um, use the backgrounds that I was creating. And one of the ways was making cards. So it kind of introduced me to this fun world of crafting and it's pretty crazy, but I love the journey. Love that even their dogs are barking. Yeah, I know. They are barkers and they don't stop. So hopefully they'll stop during the stream. I can't really get them right now, but usually we try to get them to stop. So here I'm going to add some adhesive on now. I like using this Be Creative Sukwang tape. It comes in lots of different varieties of widths. And also, if it's more... Um, local to you guys and you like it ordering from scrapbook.com they have this double-sided adhesive as well let's try it in today's stream i got this double-sided adhesive and i'll have it links down below after the stream right now i've got some things down there Your, my dog just won't get included. Yes, I know they do. They're not outside the door. Actually, they're they're all the way downstairs, barking at somebody who's probably walking on the street. <laughs> so, watching with your nine-year-old daughter. Awesome. You have a Yorkshire Terrier, and he keeps barking too. Yes. I'm glad you guys enjoy the dogs barking. A bone-shaped card. Maybe we'll have to make one. So I'll cut into this. Hopefully it's not too loud with the wrapping. I'll do it kind of down more so hopefully my mic doesn't catch it as much. Okay, so here are the two different sizes that I'm going to use for today. And this is, again, the scrapbook.com double-sided adhesive. So it's similar, but it's probably just more easy to get for some of you guys if you enjoy shopping there. And also, I have to share this, and I'll share it in a future video or live stream or something. But look at this monster. Scrapbook.com came out with this huge roll of this double-sided tape. And this is going to be so nice and affordable to cover up card bases and use with glitter and stuff like that without having to buy all those sheets. So this is going to be so nice. I'm so excited to use it. Um, so I'll be sure to include that soon. Okay. Yeah, it's huge, but it covers a piece of cardstock super nicely. Just one of those like card base size cardstocks, you know? So here we go. Let's get working with our tape here. You love making boxes and purses. Awesome. I have never created one. So if you have any tips, be sure to share. So I'm adding some tape onto the bottom of here. And this stuff rips pretty nicely too, which I love because I do not like to cut each one and kind of ruin my scissors with the stick, but it's super sticky tape, which is really good. So this is gonna fold in right here. I forgot to crease this little line here. So I'll crease it down and this is going to fold in to kind of create the little box like this. You love scrapbook.com, awesome. I do too. They are super nice and they're some of my favorite people as well. So I'm gonna add some of this thicker adhesive onto the bottom here and also this bottom portion because this will kind of fold to create the box. So I need to add some adhesive to the bottom of here and here as well and then I'll add it to the side and then we can put it all together. So here we go. Let's add some adhesive to the bottom of this. So I'll add this thicker adhesive here. And I have to say both of these sizes come in super handy. Um, the little thinner one really comes in handy for um, much smaller spaces. So you don't have to cut it down. And then this larger one works for things like this where it's just like little creases and things like that or bigger spots. So if you guys enjoy making like purses or you know little bags and things like that, I know Tonic has lots of dyes like this. So I know the kit, I think it's sold out right now. Um, somebody informed me that when I just started here, but you can get kits for the future or you can buy some of their 
um, purse dyes or bag dyes or things like that and kind of follow along because I know they have lots of dyes like this that are really beautiful and work really nicely for putting together like this. And also I find this tape works a lot better than liquid adhesive for me because I don't like to wait for things to dry and sit there. And this stuff is super, super strong. So now we can get moving with our bag. I think I got everything covered that I need. So I'm gonna press it all down, make sure it's all nice and stuck, and then we can get started here. So I'm going to peel this part off. Yep, we're just adding some adhesive onto here to put all the bag together. So this reminds me of a little gift bag and I love making them craft colored. And it looks kind of like a little bag that you can put some crafty stuff in, which I love. Maybe add a little stamp in here or things like that and give it to your friend. And that would be super fun. You probably don't want to ship this through the mail though. Um, just probably hand it in person and it's a great little tiny thing for gift cards I would expect too. I'm not sure if a gift card will fit in here. I'll have to test that in a little bit. So here's the thing. I probably didn't need adhesive for both sides, but I did it just to be safe. And I'll quickly line that up with the crease there and then add it on. Sorry, it might get a little quiet during some of the parts because you need to focus when you're putting this thing together. So now we've got kind of the base added together. And that's a really sturdy base because it's got those two pieces in there. And this inside one has that little slot on it there. Made a gift box idea, yes. If you need a quick gift in a short amount of time, pulling something like this out and creating a little gift bag like this and putting a little something in it is always fun just to let somebody know that you're thinking of them or if you forgot to get a gift. This is great, and it's a nice handmade gift, which I love. Yep, it's best to do that for a reinforcement to have both sides with the tape there. So now I added this portion down here, this little fold inside, which builds up this side of the box here. And then I'll do the same with the other side, so I'll peel these pieces off. And wow, I'm excited. This stream is looking a lot better than my other ones were, a lot better quality. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, a teacher gift for the end of the school year, that would be awesome too. Just grab a little teacher stamp set and add a little tag on it, letting them know how awesome they are. So I'll add this little portion down. And if it gets to be a part where it's inside the bag like this, I take my little bone folder with the flat end and I go in there and I just press that down. So that ensures that it's nicely together. Hi, Josie from Slovakia. Awesome, I'm so glad we have so many people joining from all around. So now this middle of the box is all built up and it's nice and sturdy since we pressed it down with our bone folder. So now we're going to adhere the sides together. To do this, I'm gonna just start off by folding it in there. So you got that side folded in and this is the portion with the adhesive on it. So everything gets folded to the inside. So you have a nice clean look with the bag on the outside, which is nice. I like that it's nice and clean. And then in the inside, you've got all those little fold ins and they're all secured and tucked down nicely with that score tape, which is awesome. And if you guys haven't noticed, a word that I use really often is awesome. So. I always try to switch up my words, but since it's live, it's a little difficult. So here we go. Now I'm adhering this side on. And I'll just press that down all the way to the bottom of the box and I'll get inside there with that bone folder. Awesome is a good word, I agree. So here is the box. Now I'm not sure what these are. I think this might be to kind of seal it on the inside there. And you could always tie some twine around the top, but I'm gonna keep it really simple today. And I'm just gonna show you, because I love inks and shimmer powders and watercolors, I'm gonna show you how to decorate this with those. 
Thanks. I'm awesome. Wonderful. Yeah, this is a wonderful little gift box. So if you want to leave it just like this, you can. It's perfect how it is. But I'm going to add a little bit of the shimmer powder decoration on top. And then once we finish with that, I'm going to move on to making the card. So I'll set the little box off to the side. One of your favorite English words, mine too. So here's what we're creating right now. Now there's a lot of other things you can add to the side and the top to decorate it and things like that. But I'm just gonna keep it really simple just with one of these. And I'll just do it for the one side, but you can decorate both sides as well. So here's the die that we want to use. This is a super, super detailed die. And this is what I'll share how to make the card with too. So you can get really two different, completely different looks with it, which is what I love about these dies. And it has this outside piece too. So you could either take the inside piece and just die cut it kind of like a little see-through window straight from the box, or you can die cut it as a little panel with this piece attached to it too. So I'll take this, I'll line it up on my desk, and then I'll take my purple tape. Again, definitely a must have, I think. And then I'll kind of move it around a little bit, shift it around. until I find exactly where it needs to go. Okay, and then I'll tape it down here so that it doesn't move, but it stays nice and attached for when we need it in just a second. So I'm gonna move this off to the side. We're gonna create our background first, and then we'll die cut out of this. So to create our background and make sure that our workspace is nice and clean, I'm going to use this tonic craft mat. So this is the easy clean craft mat that kind of sticks to your desk because it's got that silicone bottom. Now you wanna make sure you don't use alcohol inks on here. It'll make it messy like mine. So ignore that. It should be plain white. Um, just don't use alcohol inks because it will penetrate the surface and kind of ruin it. Yeah, painter's tape does work too, but I find that sometimes the painter's tape rips it no matter how delicate you're being with it. So I um, do love the purple tape now. So I'm gonna use a piece of Bristol I don't know if you guys heard the other day, but I um, don't have any more watercolor card stock. So I've been using Bristol for the time being. And I just need to order some watercolor card stock, but I haven't quite gotten around to it yet. So here are what the shimmer powders look like. Now there's been a couple of products on the market that are similar to these, but what I love about these is the application of them come in these wonderful bottles. So they're fine tip, just like um, the Nouveau Drop applicator bottles, which is really wonderful. So you got that fun opening and there's so much powder inside here. So these last a long time because a little tiny bit goes a super long way. And also what's really, really unique about these is they've got this shimmer inside of them. So when you're creating your backgrounds, you have this really cool, fun, bright color, but along with that shimmer too. And these are really nice and easy for creating those watercolor backgrounds. So I'll set those off to the side there. I'll lay the colors down so you guys can see them. Yes, I agree. It would be cool to die cut through the bag and then add it with confetti acetate. That would be awesome. So to create this background, I'm going to start off with some water here. Sometimes I start off with the powder and then add the water. But today I'm going to start off with the water. And I'm just going to really saturate this background. And you'll see the paper curl up. And I'm gonna use some different colors than I used for this. For this, I used the Catherine wheel color. I used the solar flare, which is yellow, and then the blue. And that created a really fun mix of colors because those are like similar to the primary colors. So they created that really fun mix. So then I'll take these and I'll sprinkle them on the surface and look at that. Look at that powder. So they've got all different pigments inside of them. And they've also got that shimmer. So just inside of this violet brocade color, you can see those blues and the reds and the purples kind of moving around and mixing. Now, if I just used this color, that would be perfect too. But I'm gonna throw in some other colors in here as well. So I think I'll throw in the blue blitz. And I'll just, I just kind of tap the bottom of the bottle. You don't wanna squeeze this because powder will be everywhere if you squeeze it. So just tap the little bottle lightly and that color will come out really nicely. 
So now I'm gonna spray this a little bit more. I wanna get some of those powders and pigments moving around on the surface. You could leave it just with lots of pigment on there, but I like to make it move around and um, see kind of where those colors go. So I'll take a little bit of paper towel here. I'll sop up some of that color on the edge. So if you guys ever create a watercolor background and you've got those edges with that color on there, a little cloth or a little paper towel really easily cleans that color up really super nicely. And also you can move around some of those pigments if you don't want those really dark areas to show. Colors are awesome, great effects, thanks. I really love creating with these, so it'll be a different effect than what's on the last bag, but I like how this one turned out as well. Sometimes if you have too much um, pigment in that one area where it's still all that powder, it will um, kind of still be there when it dries. So you wanna make sure you get rid of a lot of that pigment um, powder in those areas. If there's just a little bit, it won't really matter. Now I'm gonna mute you guys quick and dry this and I'll be right back. Thanks, I'm so glad you like them, um, Belinda. These are called Nouveau Shimmer Powders. So right now they have um, eight colors of the powder and maybe they might release more in the future, I'm not quite sure. But if you go down to my description box below and you wanna support me, you can always purchase supplies that I'm using in there. So I've got the shimmer powders and the box listed and linked down there. So if you click on those links, I do get a portion of the commission, which is awesome. And I really appreciate it. You love the purple and blue combo. I love this too. And what I love about these powders is you can create really easy watercolor backgrounds that are really random because sometimes I'm not good at doing that by myself and making them super random, but these powders really allow you to do that. And they also allow you to get controlled effects, which I'll show you a little bit later. Yes, I love watching the color from these powders explode on the paper for sure. So you can keep spraying this and kind of moving it around and mixing it. It doesn't move a ton, but it does a little bit. Um, and I'll bring in my die cutting machine here because we're gonna cut that little design out of this portion. So we're gonna cut this little area out of um, the little background we just created. Looks awesome, thanks so much. I'm glad you guys are all using my favorite adjective too. We can all be alike now. So I'm going to take the die cutting plate and then the top plate. So I'll put this in the die cutting plate. I'll put the plate on top. Don't forget to give this a video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. I appreciate when you guys say that. It really helps me out to give a thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that you guys are enjoying the video. And if you wanna see more content like this and never miss a live stream or a video, be sure to subscribe. And if you click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button, if you click that and make sure you have all notifications, you won't ever miss a video from me like this one or like just a regular crafting video that isn't live. You guys liked it, awesome. I'm so glad you guys are all liking the video and I'm glad you're enjoying the live stream. So I'll pop these pieces out and like I said, that tonic die cutting machine cuts these really intricate details like nothing else. Like I've never had a machine cut those details so nicely. So you could inlay all those little pieces and use all those too. But for today's video, I'm just using this portion here and we'll add this right onto my bag here. And look at that. So to add that on top, you could use that scrapbook.com tape, that big roll that I showed you earlier and have added that behind on the piece of this um, background. So you could have just peeled that off and added it on. But I'm gonna just use some liquid adhesive. If I would have thought of that, I would probably would have used it. 
but I'll just throw some liquid adhesive on behind here really quickly. This is the multi matte medium. And this is the, or no, actually this is, what is this? This is maybe collage medium from Ranger in the matte color. I think it's collage, yeah. Simon fans are awesome. We need a name. I agree. We do need a name for you guys. So if you want a name, be sure to come up with some ideas and let me know of them. If you have a name that you think works well with Inclips or Simon or anything like that, let me know. Because then we can all have our little tribe name here on YouTube. So here is what I just created and we'll wait a little time for that adhesive to dry on there, but it's pretty um, solid on there. And what I like about these, what I find is not much shimmer comes off on your hand. I can't really see any right now, um, but you could spray this in and things like that as well. Simon fan, Simonites. What about something with ink clips? Do you guys like do you guys like the name Inkers or something like that? Because I love that. So here is that background we just created. And like I said, you can add things for the handles and they've got dies for the sides and things like that. But I wanted to keep it really simple just with this. And then, like I said, you can put a stamp or a little gift card right on the inside there. There's lots of room in there for a little gift. So now we're gonna move on to creating the little card here. I love all the names that are coming through. The Chipmunks, we are Simonizers, Ink Splatters, awesome guys. I'm not sure I'll have to come up with a name for you guys. Um, but I just like calling you guys friends. I always say that a lot um, because it's just, I think you guys are each um, my individual friends and I love that you guys all are subscribed here and come in here and chat with me every day. So. How did I come up with ink clips? It was kind of random. Um, there's not too much of a story behind it. I'll start on this and I'll kind of explain that. So we were looking for names with ink in it and ink clips kind of came about and we were kind of thinking of all the different names and it's kind of like Eclipse, but with ink. So I thought it was a unique name where I could use it on social media and things like that. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of just came about like that. There's not really a, a fun little cute story behind it unless if we create one. But no, there's nothing really um, behind the name that really stands out. It's just kind of, I thought it was a cool name and I kind of went with it. So now I'm going to die cut out that little window again here. So we're going to die cut one more of those out and we're going to give it a completely different look this time. So you can use it as that background window. So I'm gonna knock out all these little pieces here just by peeling out that tape and they'll all come out really nice and easily. So we don't want those stuck in the die there while we cut the next piece out. And I find just by hitting it against the surface, you get lots out. So I'll put this little die back in here. I'll add my tape back down. And what I like about this purple tape too, is it's nice and strong. Some of the other tapes that I use um, in the past, um, some of the other names that I used or some of the other tapes that I had used didn't quite stay. They would kind of rip on the edge and they were really frail and brittle and things like that. So I love that this tape is nice and strong and you can reuse it over and over. So it's nice and budget friendly too, which is great. I'm keeping up with my studies, don't worry. All my homework is done, complete, so I'm able to come on here and film. But there's definitely been lots of late nights editing, um, but I always make sure to get my work done beforehand for school. So here is my die that I had just cut out. So it's the same thing we cut earlier. I'll pop out all those little pieces here. And look how easy those are just falling out of the die cutting machine. So there we go. There's that intricate die. In clips and the comments, I love it. That's an awesome little name. So I like to make sure that I'm working on this little mat 
Because if I work on my actual craft mat, that shimmer gets all over and the color gets all over and it's a lot to clean up after. So I just like to, I just like to um, kind of work on this sheet since it's a lot easier to clean. So last night I was using this little tin and I had sprinkled some of those little powders in there and used them as my watercolor. So like I was saying, you can get a really controlled effect with this watercolor and get really cool looks with just the powder inside here and a water brush. So I'll grab my little water brush. You don't need a shimmer pen or anything because these already have that shimmer inside. You know high schoolers that don't have a channel and can't finish homework. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of work, but it's um, a huge payoff. I love making videos for you guys and, and talking with you guys. So um, yeah, it definitely has been a lot of work and I kind of learned how to keep up with all of it at once. Definitely missed a couple deadlines though, um, here and there, but it's all good. Not deadlines for school, deadlines for crafting and things like that, but a lot of people understand when I am unable to always make everything. You like the comment's name? I like that as well. Maybe we'll have to go with that. So my brush I think was a little stained. That yellow color is usually quite a bit brighter, um, but it also could be that it's just because that palette was already used last night and I might've mixed it or something. So I'll grab some more color and kind of cover it up a little bit. It's a little bit of a brighter yellow here. And I'll add that on some little portions. Now I find whatever looks like a flower, definitely the comet's name, awesome. I'm glad you guys like that name. I like that as well. Whoever came up with that is fantastic. Your YouTube feed is choppy day. Um, a lot of people were saying that it was good for them. So sometimes it's just the Wi-Fi at home or things like that. So if you're struggling to get great Wi-Fi, you can always come back in or try connecting um, to your Wi-Fi again. But sometimes it's the bandwidth and things like that. Sometimes it's just unavoidable. So I'll add some color onto the edge. And like I said, I find kind of what looks like a flower in here. So this looks like a flower to me. This looks like a little flower bloom. So I'll color these in with that red kind of color. Are my parents in here in the chat? Uh, I'm not quite sure. If they are, they can chat with you guys a little bit, but I'm not quite sure if they're in here. I knew they were in my last streams, kind of watching a little bit. Um, just wonder, we'll try refreshing. Okay, yeah, try refreshing. Um, I'm so sorry that's happening to you. And just try coming back in. And um, if not, you can always try catching the replay. But I love that you are in here with me and chatting. So here's what those flowers look like. Hopefully you guys can get a good view on those. Oh my, the quality is a lot better. Looking a lot nicer here, which I love because I know you guys were commenting about how you couldn't really see and, and I watched it back and I couldn't really see either so I'm glad that as we keep going it'll probably keep improving and maybe in the future we'll have different camera angles and things like that but I like the simplicity of the over top one right now so I'll grab some of this pink I'll throw some pink in there too that kind of always helps to brighten it up a little bit and blending these colors together is a dream it works really nicely this dye is awesome for sure. Okay, so. You're really into watercoloring now, awesome. I'm so glad, so here's how those flowers look. I'll, let, I'll give those a little time to dry here, but we'll keep working on the rest. So these look like leaves to me. So I used these for leaves on the last card and I'll kind of do a similar thing to what I did on the last one. You love the top view, I do too. I think it works really nicely. It's just a rag, it's a really dirty rag. It's just a little rag and every once in a while I switch it out to a new one. But I find that sometimes things are better to pick up with paper towel, but then sometimes things are better to pick up with a rag like ink and things like that. And then 
you're able to throw the rag on after a while um, or wash it or things like that, but it's not as harmful to keep using a ton of paper towels. So here I'm gonna go into this lighter color of green, kind of like a teal green color. And I'll add some of that onto here. So I'm just doing a wash of this teal color and then we'll add that darker green on top. I'm glad you love the dye. The dye is only available inside this kit and I believe right now it is sold out. So my apologies for that. Um, it's been really popular lately. So it's been selling out really fast um, every month, but you can subscribe to the tonic kits to make sure you don't miss the next one. It's a really great price for the value that you get. So you get lots of products in here for the price that they set it at. So if you want to purchase a kit, you can go down below in my description box if you wanna help support me a little bit. I do get a little bit of a commission at no extra cost to you if you use my links down there in any kind of video. So if you guys feel like buying any of this stuff or um, supporting me while you're buying it, that's awesome as well. So I will quickly heat set this. I'll be right back, just one second. Yep, so this is a Tonic Studios kit, Kathy. So this is from Tonic. Um, they create these fun little kits. And it's full of lots of awesome products. They do, they have a, a wonderful price point. And that's one of my favorite things about it is that they're able to give you guys such awesome products at such a low price point for you guys. And there's nothing different about the products. So they're not less valuable or things like that than what they regularly sell. They're just giving to it at an awesome value. You use microfiber cloth, those work well as well. I've used those in the past. They're a little pricey, so I just use rags and I find that they work just as well too. But yeah, any kind of cloth will work for that. So I like using this dye. So in case if you're not a crafter who likes to make bags or things like that, and you just wanna make like a card or something, I always love finding ways to make cards or things like that out of you know, what's not supposed to be a card dye. So this was just supposed to be you know, an embellishment kind of for the bag, but making a card out of it is really just a fun idea. So you can make a really quick card and it gives it a completely different look than the bag. Or if you want to make a bag and then make a card after, you get more versatility out of the die, you know? So I love that they included this portion to decorate it too. I am loving these powders too. They are really fun and I love all the shimmer. I wish you guys can see it. I wish you guys could be here in real life because it's a little bit difficult to capture on camera, um, all the shimmer that's in here. And it's not overpoweringly shimmer, but when you tilt it in the light, you can definitely see a little layer and coating of shimmer there, which is really fun. So I'll just slowly and carefully cut around these, just taking my time, because you don't want to accidentally chop off something that's you know, necessary or important to another piece. Yeah, you see Tim's new scissors. These are Tim's awesome, wonderful new black colored scissors. I am loving them. I use these um, a ton on all my projects and I find these large ones are my favorite, no matter if I'm working on a smaller thing or whatever, it's just one chop and, and you're across a piece of paper or you know things like that. So I love those large ones for bigger things. I lost my smaller ones. I think they're in my other room. I was opening a package with them because they're great for lots of stuff around the house. Sometimes they make it out of my craft room and I just have to walk around a little bit to kind of find them where they disappeared off to. So I'll quickly snip right around this. Make sure you got those nice rounded edges. You use the micro snips for fussy cutting. I love those for fussy cutting as well. 
because they're so detailed and they get into all those little fine areas. So look, we've got we've got one flower here. We've got a little bloom, which I love. And we've got two little leaves here. Your hubby ends up borrowing yours. Yes, they work really well for all different kinds of things. So I find that sometimes they travel, you know? Okay, so now we're gonna move on. Yeah, your hubby probably used them on plants, definitely. They do, they work nicely outside too, which I, I kind of find a little funny, but it, it they work all over the place. It is great having my own craft room. I just moved into this one just a little while ago. I'm still getting kind of used to it and um, still getting all settled in. So once it's all clean and, and I'm still going to organize the background and things like that, um, so there's a much cooler background for when I film shots for my regular videos, you know. Um, but once that's all complete, I know lots of people have been asking for a craft room tour. And I always enjoy watching those too, um, just to see kind of how other people clean and organize and things like that. And that's how I got most of my organization ideas. So I love to, I'd love to share a room tour once it's all complete. In the car watching while your husband drives, awesome. I'm glad you're able to catch the live stream. Yeah, I'll be sure to share one for you guys. Um, I'm not quite sure when it will be. It might be a little while. But I've been working in the basement for quite some time and we kind of just decided we need to upgrade a little bit and um, I'm much happier in this space. It's much easier to create and there's windows in here, natural lighting and things like that. Um, and no big loud furnaces. So it's a lot easier to create in and a lot more fun and inspiring too. Got to run to a birthday party, but I'm so glad you couldn't um, join us, Belinda, and have fun at the birthday party. You started crafting before there was dyes. I enjoy fussy cutting as well. I'm not sure there's something about it that I really do enjoy. Natural lighting does um, help, yes. My happy pillow face. I think you're talking about my DIY pillow video. Oh. So I think my camera just decided to cut out. Okay. What is going on? Just wait, everybody just hold on a second. I just need to plug this in and we can get right back started. My apologies. I think it says no signal for all of you. So just wait a second, my apologies. I forgot to have this plugged in. I'm not sure if you guys can still hear me, but I forgot to have it plugged in while I was working because usually it's able to last quite a long time. Okay, I think we're all back. It, okay, we're back. I believe we're back, yes, I think it's working now. Okay, awesome. I'm glad we're all back. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Sometimes be a little bit difficult. And I'm still using, uh, I'm using that newer equipment with the camcorder. So I just gotta make sure it's plugged to start. That would have probably been a smart thing to check. So here we go. So I'll add a little bit of glue to this piece. When it went down that no signal, it kind of looked wonderful. I loved all those colors, kind of funny. So I'm going to glue this portion on. Wonderful, I'm glad you guys are all still here, staying through the little no signal. So look, this is so much fun. I love how that looks once it's, you know, going on here. Then I'll add the little other part of the leaf down here. So we kind of multiplied the leaves by being able to cut it like that.
I'll add some liquid adhesive to all of these as I'm working and creating with them. And then for this top leaf here, I'm gonna just make sure that there's no really sharp points or edges onto it. And then I'll add some glue onto here. And I add lots of that liquid adhesive. And that collage media mat is super strong for using for things like this. I find that it grabs hold right away. It doesn't move around a ton right away. So you don't have to wait a ton of time for it to dry. So look, here's what that fun little flower looks like. Now all you have to do A contemplative pause, yes, I love that. Well, I'm glad you guys like it. So all I'm going to do is I'm gonna even add a little bit more than I did on the first example. I think the first one's just a little bit plain, so we're gonna add something fun to it. So I'm going to just score my card here. I should probably use a scoreboard, but sometimes I can't find things around here. So I've scored that down nicely, so it's this top folding card. And you could just add it on right like this and just leave it alone like that. But I want to do some blending. I'm gonna get out this fun little stencil. And I'm also gonna grab Tim's little stencil brush. I did this in my last video and it was tons of fun. I'm gonna grab out Tim's fun little stencil brush here. So this is that little new distress brush. And I'll grab one of his oxides out too. I think we should go for maybe, maybe a peacock feathers kind of day, right? Is it a plastic stencil? Yes, it's a nice thick material. It's not the see-through kind of stencil, but it's, yeah, it's not paper, it's plastic and it's from Tonic. So I think this is the Boca stencil. So I'll just swipe a little ink across here. And I'm gonna just wipe off some of that ink onto the side because I want it to be a nice soft coloring. And I love that with these brushes, you can have a lot of control. So by pushing this brush up, you can get a darker color by adding more details in, you know, and by having it all the way down like this, you get a much softer kind of blended out color. So look at that. We've got a fun, nice blend here. And to put on the lid, you push it all the way up like this add the lid on, and then it goes right back down into its little home. So two of these come in a pack, which I love. And I know there's a lot of stencil brushes out there. Tom, um, Nouveau has a pair of two that I love that comes in a pack of four, but these are really nice and portable too, which I love. You like that stencil? Yeah, I love the little dots and I love how easy it is to add. So I'm not sure, I think I kind of like that there. Brushes over sponges, well, that's a great question. So brushes give you a much softer color. You can still get a darker color, but you have to build it up more because it doesn't hold as much of the color in its bristles, whereas the sponges hold tons of color. So sponges give you a lot darker color with a lot less effort. So it depends on what kind of effect and look you want. If you want a really vibrant dark color, I'd say go for a sponge. If you want kind of more of a softer color like I just got, go for a little brush because the brushes don't hold as much. Like I said, you still can build up that solid color with the brushes, but it takes quite a bit of time. So yeah, they're pretty different. They've got a different feel to them and I use them both, but I use them for different things. Yeah, thanks for asking Wanda, that was a great question. So I'll add those down onto the surface. You guys let me know which one you'd like better, whether it's the, um, I cut off this little leaf here, hanging off. Let me know which one you guys like better with the card without the background or the card with. I decided I thought it would change it up a little bit just so you guys can see what it looks like both ways. Okay, so I'm going to, Seal up my glue. I'll grab the little stamp set with the sentiments here. I'll show this and then I'll pop off. <coughs> Sorry about that. So I'll show you guys this and then I'll hop off the live stream. I'm gonna use the with love sentiment. 
You like the one with the background. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are liking that background. I thought it was something cool and a little bit different compared to the first one, which I like too. I like to kind of switch it up a little bit. So I'll take this with love stamp. <clears throat> My voice is like about to give out at the end of the stream here. So I'll use this Nouveau Black Hybrid ink. And I'll just stamp the little with love right there. So I like that little fun background. It's really easy to create with those watercolor shimmer powders. And I think it was a lot of fun. So you get a completely different look with the background. Without the background, it's just a little bit added extra. And you can see even on this one, it's a little bit darker and more vibrant of a color. So you can get different kind of effects with these powders. You can get different results with the backgrounds. And I think it's really fun to use a dye like I just did, where it's that whole background dye and create something like this, where you just create little flowers. So I enjoy that. I enjoy using backgrounds and things like that and making them different and kind of making them what you think that you wouldn't use them for. It's a little different and I like it. They both look great. Awesome, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. So here's all that we created. Is there anything more that you guys want to see? Any more questions you guys have before I get off the live stream? Both are very pretty. I'm so glad you guys like these. So again, this was using the Tonic 9 kit. Somebody told me it was already sold out now, which kind of makes me a little bit sad. But if you guys want to sign up for future months, you can subscribe for the whole year or you can get certain quarterly, monthly subscriptions or things like that, I believe. And you can sign up with that to make sure you don't miss any more months, anything like that. Because I would hate for you guys to miss it if you want these. And they are a really good price point for everything you get inside the kit. Stencil looks a bit party-like. I could imagine that for confetti on birthday cards as well. So there go my dogs again. They're barking. Clean and simple. Yes, I love it. So I'm glad you guys all enjoyed this. My dogs seem to be liking it too. And if you guys have no more questions, I think I'll hop off the stream in just a second here. I'll wait a little bit since I know that it's a little bit delayed. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I loved talking with you and creating alongside you guys or shopping alongside you guys as you were going throughout your day. Thank you so much, Wanda. Have a great day as well. I'm glad you guys enjoy seeing me create. And I think this will be an every Saturday thing, a Saturday stream with Simon kind of thing. So I'll come on live stream. I might talk about a product. I might talk about like the tonic box like I did today or use something that I've been dying to use but have been too lazy to create a video on since those take a long time. So if there's something that I just got and I'm excited to use it or you know want to use or if you guys have something you want to see, be sure to DM me or let me know on social media or things like that. And I will be trying to make it happen in a live stream or things like that. And if there's a topic that I think needs to be chatted about in live stream and it's better for that form because you guys might have questions, I'll do it on here as well. Am I going to have a set time? I think so. Maybe I'll do it at noon. Maybe I'll, um, cause I am central time. So maybe I'll do it at 12 o'clock. Um, when did I go live today? I think 12 o'clock. Um, and, or I could do it earlier at nine o'clock for people who would like that. So be sure to leave comments on what works best for you guys. And then I'll pick a date that works or a time that works well for me as well. And either way, be sure to click that bell next to the subscribe button after you're subscribed and click on turn all notifications on. So if I do do a random live stream throughout the week or kind of a random live stream on Saturday, um, it'll let you know then it'll notify you on your phone so you can stop in, say hi and chat with me. So make sure you guys have all those clicked and you won't miss any other videos as well on my channel. Awesome. I'm glad you guys like the card. Sleep in on Saturday. Yes. Awesome. Noon would be good for you on the West Coast. Thanks, Lynn, for that. I will be sure to keep all that in mind as I'm going on for the next stream. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. I have a community tab on my channel where I think you guys get notifications every time I post on there. And I've been kind of updating you guys on what's going on. So I let you know when the package arrived. I let you know when I was about to go live. And also kind of yesterday, I talked quickly about how I was going to go live. So, so everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day. 
If you enjoyed this, there's links down below where you can go shopping. You can click that subscribe button if you don't want to miss another video like this one. And I'll see you very soon for another card making and crafting video. Have a great day. Oh, well, I still do my classes on scrapbook.com. Well, um, we'll see. We'll see. So um, that might be a little hint. So I'll see you guys very soon. Um, have a great day. And uh, now I just have to turn off um, and figure out how to turn this live stream off. So thanks for everybody who joined in today on their Saturday and chatted with me. It was wonderful talking with you guys. And I'll be sure to keep chatting with you guys on social media. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.